let us talk about choice under uncertainty what exactly we want to do here is we know that uh, up until now we have seen how choices are being made by consumers how choices are being made by firms let's say uh, so there are people there are consumers who are making choices there are firms who are making choices basically when consumers so they are buying something for example they are buying a bundle xy and they are paying for it so the idea is that they are sure of this that they will be getting this bundle when they have paid for this bundle they're sure that they they are going to get this bundle definitely if there is a firm which is producing an output x right so it is sure that it will be able to sell at a certain price right there is no uncertainty which is involved but there can be uncertain situations right for example you are a consumer and uh, you want to buy a property in delhi right so there are many questions which might go in your head that whether you should buy this property or not its value can increase or decrease or you are trying to buy shares of certain company shares of infosys shares of some company you don't know whether this buying decision will be fruitful to you or not i mean of course you buy it you you invest in it with a view that it is going to go up but it can also go down you don't know right so in these cases the outcomes are uncertain outcomes are uncertain here what we have seen we have seen those cases where the outcomes were certain and what is it that we do there we maximize i mean we we try to make choices which are going to maximize our preferences which is going to maximize our utility that's what you do right so up until now when you do what you do is that you maximize uh preferences or you can say utility here we want to extend the same model of consumer choice to account for uncertain situations also we need to find out a way in which we will be able to account for uncertain situations also let us look at one very simple game right let us look at one very simple game you being asked that uh, we will flip a coin right okay you being asked to play a game in which you have to pay x dollars let us say you have to pay x dollars to play a game the game is that coin is going to be flipped flip a coin you flip a coin and uh, if you are going to get head if by flipping a coin you're going to get head then you will be paid 10 dollars if you're going to get a tail you'll be paid nothing 0 dollars so basically you're saying that uh, with head you are uh, winning and with tail you are losing you have choice there are choices here so what choices you have you have a choice play a game play this game or you don't play this game Well, let us think about it. If you're not going to play this game, how much you're going to get? Zero dollars for sure.
you have not spent X dollars, you're going to get zero dollars only. If you're going to play this game, there is a 50% chance that you win. And there is a 50% chance that you lose. Well, if you win, how much is it that you're going to get? 10 minus X dollars. This is what you're going to get because X dollars you've already invested in playing this game. And you'll be getting $10 on winning. So you'll be making 10 minus X dollars. If you lose, you'll be getting $0. So it means there's a loss of X dollars, which you're going to make. The question which arises is, what is the most you're going to pay to play this game, right? What is the most what is the most you would pay To play this game right what is the most you will you will pay to play this game I mean where it should not be you can say sort of uh, uh, there is no loss there is no gain sort of like this a very very fair idea in your head is around five dollars and how you're getting that you're finding out the expected value of this game what is that if head is going to come that is going to come with the probability half. In that case, you'll be getting $10. If tail is going to come, you're going to get it with probability half. In that case, you'll be getting $0. So the expected value of this game is $5. So this is the most you would be ready to pay for this game. That is what the expected value of the game is. So if somebody is going to ask you if, uh, if uh, I mean, you want to play this game, what is the most you will be paying? You'll be paying this much, $5, right? Okay. Let's take this game a little further, right? Let's take this game a little further. And you say, fine, a coin is flipped. Coin is flipped. And uh, if tail comes, you are going to get, let's say, $2, right? If head comes, coin is flipped again. Hmm? If head is going to come, coin is going to be flipped again. Very good. I mean, um, and then if tail comes, you'll be getting $4. If head comes, coin is flipped again. And this process is going on. This process is going to go on. What is the expected value of this game, beta? In the first instance, right, if uh, if tail is going to come, it will come with probability 1 by 2, right? And how much you're going to make in that case? $2. If head is going to come, what is it that you'll be making? $0. So I won't be writing these $0 terms again and again. Then in the second instance, when will tail, tail comes? So in the first instance, head would have come. And then in the second instance, tail would have come. So head would have come with the probability half. And then tail would have come with probability half in the second instance. And in that case, how much are you going to make? $4, right? 
and then you have the zero dollar uh, case which I'm not writing again then in the first two instances head would have come and then tail is coming in this case how much you're getting eight dollars and so on and in this case huh? in, and in this case how much you are getting eight dollars so beta what is it one this is one by four into four one this is one by eight into eight one and so on this is going on so if somebody is going to ask you how much you are going to pay for this how much are you going to pay five hundred dollars thousand dollars why thousand dollars i mean i'll say why do you want to pay just thousand dollars you can even make million dollars from this if you want you can make million dollars from this if you want right huh so why do you want to just stop at thousand dollars no 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 you want to play this game you should be paying more you want to play this game now nah? then you should be paying more how much are you going to pay million billion what so we don't know right so we don't know <laughs> so this is the expected value of this game is infinity hmm? expected value of this game is infinity no uh, okay let's look at one other example so i'm taking you into the case that mostly we are not going to maximize the expected value but we are going to maximize the expected utility this is what we're going to do right so in most of the cases when we will be comparing the case that whether we should get into this gamble or not get into this gamble what we are comparing in our heads is whether I should, I mean, what is the expected utility which I'm going to make out of this? That is the point which, are, which we are making here, right? Suppose there's another example out here. The another example is there is a poor person there's a poor person and he gets a lottery ticket. He gets a lottery ticket somehow and this lottery ticket says that there is a 50% chance so with probability p equals to half you can actually make maybe hundred thousand dollars right you can make hundred thousand dollars and with a 50% chance You may not make anything. Well, it seems to be a very good lottery. It says with 50% chance you can make $100,000. So very good, very good. And with 50% chance you may not get anything. Uh, generally in the lotteries you will say the chances may not be even 1% to win the lottery. But let's say there is a rich person who has come there's a rich person who has come he says this you give me this lottery i'll give you forty thousand dollars there's a rich person who has come into the picture and he tells this poor person Give me for I will give you forty thousand dollars, and but the lottery is mine. So if I'm going to win, I'm going to win. If I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose. What will you do? You won't be comparing expected value, but expected utility out of it. So what I'm trying to say is, although the expected value of this game, although the expected value of this game is how much better? With probability half, you're going to get $100,000. And with probability half, you're going to get $0. So expected value of this game is $50,000. Oh, very good. And the rich person says, 
I can give you forty thousand dollars. I am a poor person, and you're a rich person. So, and what what I should be doing is that I am getting. I'm going to compare the expected utility of out, out of it. So what I'm going to do is this, right? So I should figure out what utility I am getting from zero dollars. What utility I am getting from hundred thousand dollars, and then I'm going to get the weighted average of. these two utilities depending on the probabilities which with which i'm going to get 0 dollars and 100000 dollars and i'm going to compare the utility which i'm going to get from the 40000 dollars you getting what i'm trying to say i'm saying i'm a poor person and uh, and the utility which i get from the sure shot case is 40000 dollars so you are a rich person you come to me and you say that 40000 dollars i am going to get so i'll get i'll compare this utility in my head okay okay and then i should also be comparing the utility which i am getting from 100000 dollars and the utility which i am going to get from the 0 dollars of course the weighted average of these two utilities will be coming from the probabilities the weights are the probabilities of winning 100000 and the probability of winning the 0 dollars right fair enough right this guy is nothing but the expected utility of the gamble ha beta and this guy is the expected utility of a certain thing of a certain amount and beta this guy was expected value of the gamble when do you think i being a poor person is going to be taking up the sure thing for sure certain thing for sure when the utility from the certain thing is going to be more than the utility from gamble guys when do you buy something you buy something when the utility which you get from buying is going to be more than the utility which you get from not buying so when do you think i being a poor person here i am going to take up the certain amount and not the gamble when my utility function is concave why do i say so because of this why do i say so because of this that is you have like this ha beta you have utility out here you have the amount of money out here you have with 0 dollars what is the utility which you are getting 0 dollars with 100000 dollars how much is the utility which you are going to get let us say this guy ha ha beta ta 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 hmm the expected value of this gamble is 50000 dollars the expected value of this gamble is 50000 dollars you with me hmm fair enough fair enough okay now what do you want you want you want this just wait you want this you want the expect the utility which you are going to get from the certain amount to be more than the utility which you are going to get from the utility which you are going to get from the gamble right that's what you are trying to say the utility which you are going to get from uh, 
the gamble right so ta -ta 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 -ta. so this is what it is so somewhere this is going to be my utility out here so it is half utility zero plus half utility hundred thousand right let's say comes here but I want for 40,000 should be somewhere here right for 40,000 it should be somewhere the the sure income this expected value you are getting beta only because of the gamble that's unsure right so I am trying to answer when I'm surely going to have this guy means sure income I'm going to prefer sure income for sure when my utility function is going to be like this somewhat like this right it will go on like this ta -ta -ta. somewhat like this Amita, you with me? So this is the utility which I am getting from the sure income. This is the utility which I am getting from the gamble. So this can only be there if the utility function is concave. This can only be there if the utility function is concave. Hmm. Beta don't be confused 50,000 when I'm going to play a gamble is going to give me only this utility but 50,000 for sure income would have given me a higher utility you with me you with me hello huh? So, if an individual, this individual, I am um, the poor individual out here. So, if I am maximizing expected value, right, which I should not be, which, but if I am maximizing just the expected value, then in that case, I should reject this offer because expected value of the gamble is $50,000 and you are only giving me $40,000. But in general, we generally maximize our utility and when I'm going to prefer this certain income over the gamble when my utility function is concave. So I'm leaving out at this point and tomorrow I'm going to pick up the thread by telling when the person is going to be risk averse, risk loving and risk neutral by taking the example further. Right? Thank you, Beta.